<laughs> no right, matter, right, no yeah. matter, no matter how much, no matter how much the pay and everything, those those two, I I I just don't think I can do it. Uh, what what about you though? I mean, would you would you what would be the two what would be the two places that you don't think you can do? Um, well, I've had some pretty um nasty jobs. I mean, I've worked at a, a water treatment plant before. Mm-hmm. Work with uh, work at um probably anything has to do with like ex- like working on bridges and stuff like that. Being a bridge inspector, you know that kind of stuff. I couldn't do. It. Ooh, man, yeah, you, yeah, you had to climb all the way up there, and, and yeah, that I, I don't yeah, think- uh, one of the. When I was in trucking school, there was a trucking company that came that they were the kind of trucking companies where they would hire drivers mm-hmm. to drive their equipment out to to bridges for people that contract them. Right. And you were in charge of driving the truck and also operating the truck and operating the cranes. And these are the people that go out to bridges or construction sites. And, you know, sometimes you have the customer helping you inspect the bridge. I was like, yeah, that's not something for me. Now, they paid really well, but you would have to be away from home for three to six months some, sometimes. So I was like, yeah, that's not good for me. <laughs> um, no, let, thank you. Let me, you know, let me ask you this. Um, have you, uh, like, being over the road? Right, you know, you 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 left Tyson. We we still going to talk about Tyson a little bit, but you decided to sure. uh, to leave Tyson and go over the road. Um, did you have that conversation with your with with your significant other as far as uh, you know as far as changing you know changing companies and that you might be out over the road a little a little longer than what you would normally be. Did you have that conversation um, with her? I mean, as the time got closer to their deadline of either, you know, you take the, you know, take the, the needle or get fired. Mm-hmm. Now, to their credit, they did at the last moment give me a religious exemption, but I already made, made plans to leave already. And I wasn't going to renege because the company that I'm with now pays way more. Okay. Than Tyson. All right. So, I mean, it was like the, the scale on the balance was already tipped in, 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 in the way that I, I thought that I should go. All right. So, so what was the conversation between you, uh, you, you and your wife? Oh uh, well, I mean, she basically, I was, you know, explaining my displeasure. She was like, "Hey, do what you got to do. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to stay out of it. You know, what I'm saying I believe that you would make the right choice." Okay, so, that's what's up. Now, being over the, being over the road. Um, you know, doing your time with Tyson and everything. Uh, of course, your wife is at home uh, taking care of the kids. Is she? No, she was just at, at, at home enjoying the, the, the you know, the, the children and, you know, just doing whatever she does creatively. But here's a little caveat. Um, she will be getting back on the truck in another six, five months. Okay. I'm currently with. Okay, that's what's up. Is she gonna? <clears throat> excuse me. Is she gonna come with the company where you at, or is she going? Uh, with yes. a di- oh, okay. Yes. So y'all, y'all, y'all plan yes. on coming back teaming? Yes. That's what's up. That's what's yes, up. Indeed. All right. So have you ever now been? You know, being solo for as long as you have been with uh, Tyson. Do you feel? Do you feel? Have you ever felt isolated from your family? Have you? Have you ever? Well, I, I don't think you felt that you was underpaid, but if if you did feel that, you know, how did you feel about it? Or um, I did feel underpaid for the, the, the for the giant that Tyson is, mm-hmm. and you know, I I I in passing, you know, asked other truck drivers because they broker a lot of loads to other drivers. Right. Um. I even my mentor, he 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 has his own fleet, and he would tell me how much he would get paid from Tyson. And I'm like, it's almost like they were paying their drivers less than they were paying the outside people. Mm. You know, cause there, there's some companies they broke a load to that they were getting um, a salary, but they were just running Tyson product. product. And I'm like, 
I'm like, uh, I, I, th- th- that was help help to convince me to find something better. You know, you know, it, it might it wasn't good for me, but it'll be good for somebody else. You know, what I'm saying I, I'm not here to cast any aspersions on Tyson. You know, when it comes to paying their drivers, you know, you, you like what you like, but it wasn't for me anymore. All right, so now, uh, pandemic, pandemic hit, 2020. Right. right. Uh, pretty much slow, it, it slowed everything down. Not not everything, but kind of slowed everything down. How did the pandemic affect Tyson? And, actually, and you um, guys? it didn't affect us at all. It actually sped it up. Mm. We actually started getting more miles during that time, you know. See, now still sometimes it was sporadic, but you know, on 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 average, it started a little uptick where we stayed busy. Oh, so okay. you know, the, the the pandemic didn't even feel it. Okay, now twenty twenty one hits, and now everybody is talking about this vaccine, the 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 COVID nineteen vaccine. Um, Johnson and Johnson, Medora, and uh, and I forgot what the other one was, but uh, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people was getting sick. A lot of people was, a lot of people has passed from it. Um, I unfortunately has succumbed to the COVID nineteen, and and lots of other drivers that that succumbed to it too. Um, they got this vaccine that's in my opinion and it's my opinion that's you know that's that, that nobody knows it's not that much information on it you know what i mean the government just popped it out told us told us to take it and be happy and 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 roll with it but we got a whole bunch of people such as yourself and me in the beginning you know that that refused to right. take it, and now you right. got and and now you got companies over here forcing their employees to to take the vaccination. E- either that, or you forfeit your livelihood. That happened. Right. That's that's going on with Tyson. Explain how all that came to be. Um. It actually, you know, it was really messing with my mind because I'm, 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 I'm sitting here thinking, like, you know, take this experimental drug and it may do something to me, or it may not, but if it does, they're not liable for it. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, it, 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 it was a very hard decision. Um, you know, and this is why I'm with the company that I'm with now is because, you know, when I was explaining to them, you know, the issues I was having with taking it over here. So if you want to come over here, there's like, you know what, you know, forget Tyson. And that was the nice way they said it. You know, you come over here and you make some real money. All right. So because I'm, I'm, with, a, I'm with a very small company. All right. So when Tyson started, uh, started mandating that, did, did they send, did they send like letters out to you guys saying that, you know, you guys have to take the take the vaccine, or else, or was it over the Qualcomm? Did they send you an email? Yeah, at what? first it was over. First it was over the people net. Then it was an email, and then you know, at the last minute, they sent one. At, you know, sent a letter to your house. You know, so, basically saying, "Listen, this is mandated, and you have a, until such and such time to get it. And if not, you're terminated." You know, and I, I didn't like the total vibe of that, you know, because they, they're sending us, making us watch videos and like, oh, we care about, it, it felt, the whole thing felt like propaganda, mm. to be honest. So you they, know, making videos like uh, I lost, you know, I lost a cousin or an uncle and, and I care about your safety and your well-being and, you know, I took, I took the shot and you should take it too. I was like, this guilt, just feels the, the too. Guilt, the guilt trip videos. Right. And I'm like, I, I don't like the way this feels. It doesn't feel genuine. It doesn't feel, you know, authentic because, you know, all right, I can understand if you are mandating all the people inside the warehouse or inside the offices to do it because they're in constant, constant contact with each other. But I'm mostly in my truck all the time by myself. When I go into the truck stop, I go and do my business and I head out. I don't even, I don't, I don't talk to nobody. I'm, I'm, I'm here to do a job and get out and get and go home. So 
for you to say that you have to get this in your body when you were comfortable all this time than me walking in and out the office, mm -hmm. being around people. Mm -hmm. We all know that the shot does not prevent you from spreading it and it can't prevent you from getting it. Yeah, it's so no, no guarantee. It's still, it's still no guarantees on it because a couple of people, you know, and this, and this to everybody that's listening to this episode, if, if you have took the shot and, and still got sick, come on and talk to us about it. Cause I'm, I'm curious to know because, you know, they say there's no guarantees on it, but they want you to take it. But there's no guarantees on it. You know, the same. Right. And, you and know, people this, don't realize you're, 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 you're forfeiting your, your, your right to, to compensation of being injured mm -hmm. when, you know, especially if it's experimental, they want to see what it does to you before they, they make little tweaks and, you know, from here and there to make sure that it's the right thing to give people later on down the line. But it's a coronavirus, so it's always going to mutate. It's always going to change. You, you cannot beat nature. Mm. Now, you may slow it down, but you can't beat it. We're not smarter than the earth. So in the, in in the letter that they sent you, what 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 did it what did it say exactly? What 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 did it say in the letter? Oh, I it? mean, I mean that was the synopsis. Um, you, you know, you have up into November. You know, we 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 gave you ample time. You know, basically it was sounding like what the president said. Um, you know, um, I, the the underlying tone is you know our patient is wearing thin. You know, but we do have exemptions if you want to. You know if you want to talk to HR about that. And, you know, uh, the issue that I had with HR is that they, the, the comp, the communication wasn't very cohesive. So the whole time I'm emailing and trying to find out if they accepted my religious exemption, mm -hmm. it was weeks and weeks and weeks. So I'm thinking, okay, I guess I didn't get it. So I guess I'm fired. So, you know, I was already prepared to walk out the door and then while I'm on vacation, because basically I took my vacation right before it was my time to leave. Right. You, you, you wanted to cash out on your, on your vacation. That's a good idea to do not, do not quit without cashing out because if you quit, they definitely not going to give you your vacation money, bro. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, uh, like, I, um, after I cashed out on that, then I drove their, their truck down to the terminal, mm -hmm. and I was on the plane to Chicago the next day after that. All right, that's my new up. company. So, so with that letter, that that mandate uh, now that's going on through Tyson, how many other truck drivers do you, do you know that that didn't take the shot and decided to decided to leave the company to go to you know somewhere else? Do you know? Um, from what I, from what I'm told by one of the guys in the shop, you know, um, and he seemed credible because uh, his, the shop was devastated. You know, Tyson's own shop was devastated because I went to go get a truck fixed, and right. there was only four mechanics on duty when it's usually around 15. Mm. Um, but from according to him, he said about 300 drivers quit. 300? Yes. Fuck. And, and, and a lot of mechanics also left. You know, they, they were they were adamant about not taking it. Some of them even worked down the block from the terminal at, at like a, I think it was tractor supply or something. I can't remember. Um, or some kind of tractor place. You know, like you're not. Wow, three you, that that you, that 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 must be that that got to be a major hit to to the company. Do you do you think do you think uh 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 a massive uh a massive rejection like that from from taking the from taking the 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 vaccine do you think that hurt the company it it had to right um it, it, I, i'm quite sure it did because they started offering you know a lot of bonuses so you could uh basically a referral bonus went up to $3000 each driver that you referred and that would stay with them. So, you know, that was the biggest referral um, 
uh, price that they ever offered. So, you know, you can, as the months went on, you could tell they was getting desperate. I'm like, why are they offering all this money? And then they were offering bonuses if you get the vaccine, giving people $10,000. Or if you take the vaccine, you are into in a raffle to win $10,000. It was just getting ridiculous, but they were just throwing, you know, throwing money at this, throwing money at that. Just, you know, the, the carrot with the horse trick. You know, and I was like, it's just getting really weird around here. But all they had to, but all they had to do is this dismiss that uh, that mandate, and then they should be all right, or at least coming back. You know, coming I, back I, to being all right. I, I don't. I don't think they are. I mean, because remember, you know, uh, the the current president, he. Tyson was one of the companies that he mentioned in a speech, mm-hmm. you know, because I didn't know this until my wife said, you know, uh, he mentioned them on the TV. I'm like, really? So, you know, and he's talking about, you know, people getting the vaccine. So I'm like, okay, now I'm putting two, two together. These people are all, you know, they all working together. Yeah. He, I, I, you know, Tyson, I, I don't know if the owner or the CEO or whatever, but I know, and don't quote me on this, guys. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. But uh, I think Tyson was one of the president's backers as far as, you know, getting them getting them into office. So um, pr- probably so. I mean, if if you know anything, because, you know, the Tyson is based out of Arkansas. Um, mm-hmm. And if you know anything about Arkansas, you know, the type of people in Arkansas, you know, the, the, the America type people. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you get that vibe sometimes. Mm-hmm. Oh. But I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't doubt that at all. All right, man. All right. So, so Tyson, there, there you have it, guys. Uh, they, you know, the rumors are true. Uh, this coming from a former Tyson driver. Uh, the rumors are true. So you, you know, if you want to drive for Tyson, you, 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 if you're not vaccinated, you will have to be vaccinated in order to uh, drive for Tyson. Man, let's let's talk about let's talk about uh, the pandemic, the 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 COVID nineteen situation for us drivers, man. I mean, you know, a lot of these shippers and receivers is just using that as an excuse for not for for treating us the way they treat us now. Like we like we can't go into the you know, we can't go into the office. We can't use their restroom, you know, all because of, uh you know, covid mandations that they that they got in place now. How how does that make you feel when? You know, you go in masked up and all like that, but they tell you, hey, you know, because of COVID, you can't do this, that, and the third. How how did that make you feel as a driver, man? It makes you feel like a, a hated indentured servant, <laughs> to be honest. You know, like the the, the the threat is in the place where you work, where you're having a whole bunch of people in there around each other all the time us as drivers like i would love to know the um the numbers on how many drivers are catching it mm-hmm. and how many drivers are in contact with people who are catching it you know that's probably a study they won't do because they want to inoculate everyone because mm-hmm. even though we are into you know transporting commerce i don't think it's the driver spreading it because most drivers are you know loners and state of themselves we're not out in the truck stop shaking everybody hand coughing and, and and you know wiping our hands on everybody so i don't i don't know i don't know man you know they uh, they say and i do agree that so, you know most truck drivers are the nastiest motherfuckers out here and i well I, you, I, you know i i can't i can't even deny that because i i see a lot of people go use the bathroom in in the stall come out and not wash their hands and i and i sometimes i say something like ew you nasty man you don't wash your hands like you know go out there and touching all the products and you just finished taking a boo-boo i you know what i you know what i always want to know if if somebody questioned or somebody comment about that because i do it all the time i, I put dude on front street all the time like bro not gonna wash your hands, my G. 
And you know they're yeah, just yeah, they're, I, I they're, do, look back, they're, they're look back at me and give me that that cross eyed <laughs> look like You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you, bro. I mean, you going yeah, outside, you going putting your hands on, on right? You you outside, putting your hands on 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 the freezer doors, on on the hot dog tongues, and and all that <laughs> shit. You ain't you, you ain't wash your hands or or anything. <laughs> you know, I mean, my my man Don King said it best when he was when he was trying to get uh get that fight between Ali and I think that was Frazier. If I'm not mistaken, what was that? The rumble in the jungle or some shit like that. But uh, my man in the bathroom, my dude was like, after he got, he washed his hands first. He used the bathroom and then him and, you know, him and who, I think that was Ali in the bathroom. I don't know. I got to go back and watch the movie. But dude was like, yeah, I wash my hands before I touch my shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's but crazy. <laughs> that's yeah, that's crazy. But I'm I'm still, you know, I look at the dude, the dudes that be coming up out of there, like, bro, man, you just you just sat there and 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 just did a front to back, you know, with with the paper towels and shit. You're not gonna wash your hands, bro. That's uh so so yeah, man. And you know, like I said, it's I I feel. I, I I I do feel some kind of way that we we are getting treated the way we getting treated, which which isn't fair. But still, I mean, you 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 treat us this way, but yet still inspect us to do the job. Well, and, and this is the way I look at it. You know what? You can treat people how you want to treat them, just don't expect them to accept it. And I was not willing to accept it anymore, so I moved on. Exactly, exactly. All right, man. Well, you know, I, I do appreciate you coming on, talking uh, talking about Tyson, man. And like I said before, y'all, the rumors are true. So if uh, if y'all are interested in going into Tyson, uh, hopefully y'all, you guys is fascinated. If not, Tyson might not be the – might not be the move, but before all of the, all of the vaccination and all of that other ill stuff, you would have still you you would have stayed there if if they didn't mandate all that stuff, right? Um, pr uh, probably so. Um, right now, um, you know, the the the, the inoculation business basically fast tracked me to a company that's going to help me become an owner operator. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I probably would have stayed, I probably would, I definitely would have finished out the year. Tell you that much. Right. So like, I, I wouldn't have left in, you know, before the quarter was over. So before everything, before all this bullshit, before all this garbage, you, you would have, uh, you, you would have say, say that Tyson, will be a good look for any driver that's looking for looking for a job. I mean, before all of this, you know, mandate shit, you you still would have referred Tyson as a good place to work at, right? Yeah, I, I would have. Um, I mean, you know, I was making, you know, I, not not super good, but I was making good money and the benefits are good. So, yeah, I, I, would, I would have, you know, referred people to Tyson, yes. All right. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, uh... Taz, man, thank you very much for coming on, man, and uh, and and chopping it up with me. Uh, we're not going to, you know, we're not, we're not going to go into too much details about the new company where you at because you just started with them. So, you know, let's uh, let's touch base back, you know, in a couple of months and um, and see how you feel about the current company where you at, man. You say they're gonna, you say they're gonna fast track you in a, you know, in the owner operationship. So, you know, let's uh let's just touch base back, you know, don't be no stranger. You know, let's let's get an update on uh on how they treating you and everything. Most definitely, most definitely. All right, man, you stay safe and uh you are a citizen now, so I really do appreciate it, bro. Thank you very much, man, for the support. And uh I'll holler back at you, you later. Thank you for having me. Oh, no problem. My pleasure. Right. My pleasure. You be safe out there. Keep the sunny side up. I will. I will.